Hey howdy hey partners, I just went to the World of Disney Store in downtown Disneyland, Anaheim, California to check out the Toy Story merch. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky! You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond! Walking in, I was greeted by Mickey Mouse right away, which was really cool, and the giant Mickey ears, which was pretty fun to look at. I thought that was pretty neat. I was looking for Toy Story and I found a Pizza Planet wall, which was pretty amazing. I was really shocked to find these new designs with the alien on the Pizza Planet logo there with another shirt that said Chosen One. That was a cool shirt. And then they had this awesome tank top with more branding for the Pizza Planet logo. I really liked that, that was really neat. And then they had some matching red shorts. So this is pretty cool. Definitely summer wear, as you can see. You know, they, they have you covered there. And then here we have this awesome shirt that looks like you would wear if you worked at Pizza Planet. It says Best in the Galaxy, delivery available, which is really cool to see. The Pizza Planet logo all over the front and the back. Very neat shirt, I really like that. And then I found this jacket, which was really nice. It was it had a nice patch on the front and on the back, a really cool logo, food and fun spaceport, serving your local star cluster, which is really nice. I really like that jacket. It looks like something also you would wear if you delivered pizzas there. Really like these shorts as well. These were really fun Pizza Planet logo themed shorts for the summer. So very cool to see that. I was very, very shocked to find a bunch of Pizza Planet merch right away. But then I found this Rex Fear Me Please shirt, which is pretty funny and true to Rex's personality. Pretty fun shirt. Looking around, I also found this Pizza Planet shirt. They always have this one in red always there so they never sell out of this one it's usually always there but it was cool to see more pizza planet then they had this new to the galaxy onesie which was pretty fun and then they had the believe in yourself alien shirt i bought there last time but i didn't see any for sale they just had the mannequin wearing it so that was interesting then i found the toy story wall with all the toy story toys which was fun and some space crane aliens you know what happens when you press the button they all communicate with each other which is pretty fun Walking around, I found this fun toy of the crane machine and aliens, which is pretty fun to see. And then I found some woody plushes, which was pretty cool. And let's see if it has Andy or Bonnie on the bottom of the boot. And it has Bonnie. After Toy Story 4, we did see a lot of merch for Bonnie, but we still have some Andy sometimes written on the bottom of the boot. So you always have to check, you never know. But it was fun to see these woody plush there. A lot of them in stock. They didn't have Jesse, but they did have Bullseye. So Bullseye is a fun one. I do own this bullseye in my collection. It's one of my favorite ones to have. It's pretty fun. It's not as nice as a signature or collection bullseye, of course, but it's still a fun plush and it's really neat. And it's kind of has its own charm and character to it, which is pretty fun. So if you don't have a bullseye collection plush or signature plush, you can get this one. And on the bottom, you can tell he has A-N-D-N-Y for Andy. So I really appreciate that they put Andy on the bottom of Bullseye because some of the toys like Woody and the plushes have Bonnie still. Then I found this Lotso plush. When I picked him up, I was like, whoa, it's super soft, almost like a Squishmallow type material. And then it felt heavy, like there was a bunch of sand in him. So it was definitely very heavy and weighted. So I was thinking to myself, I've never seen this before. They only had Lotso in this style plush for Toy Story but I was looking at the tag and it said it's a weighted plush. I don't know anything about this. Let me know in the comment section below if you own one of these. They're pretty interesting. And then I was looking around and found this Toy Story bath set, which was really unexpected. I saw Woody holding Forky and Buzz and Jesse and Rex. So that was a really fun find. And they come in this really cool clear bucket. So it's pretty cool. And on top, it also has Toy Story logo on the handle, which I appreciate. They did have a lot of these in stock, so that was pretty neat. Going back to the Toy Story wall, we found the Bucket of Soldiers. These are really fun. 75 army men, including a broken soldier, like when Andy's mom stepped on him in Toy Story 1, so that's neat. It's $19.99, not expensive. It is more like the movie because there's no signature collection logo on it. Although it might be the wrong shape, at least the movie accurate details of the Bucket of Soldiers on the top is the same, the right colors. So it is a really nice bucket of soldiers and for the price point, 
it's pretty neat. You can only buy it though at Disneyland or Disney World Parks exclusive. And so then here I found another bucket of aliens, but this one time they're the miniature ones. I bought these before for my mini crane machine that I got from uh, Tokyo. And that one, I filled it up with these. And they're really cool for that. You can put them in a little crane machine or something to fill up the toys. And that's a really fun uh, figurine set. Then I found some Woody action figures. This is the Disney Parks exclusive Woody action figure. You can only buy this at Disney Parks as well. It's exclusive here. I do have the Buzz, but I don't have the Woody. So I need to buy this Woody today. It's only $9.99, which is a great price. The hat doesn't come off, which I like better because then I can't lose it. It really does look like Woody, and the bottom has Andy, and I really like that. It does have some movie actor details like the yellow on the spurs and on the belt. So I do appreciate that. It's a really cool action figure. Then I found this awesome minifigs playset. They always seem to have this rocket ship in stock, and they always have them there. So it's, it's definitely exclusive to the parks. I've never seen it anywhere else. It does have some wings that pop out, which I thought was neat. So that was cool. And then we find the classic Disney Store Buzz Lightyear from 2019, part of the True Talkers line. He interacts with other figures in the collection that talk, which I have featured and reviewed on this channel many times. He has awesome features, including some classic voice phrases. His wings light up. Very cool. And they didn't have Woody or Jesse in the store, I noticed, but they did have Buzz. He's only $32.99, so I recommend you buy this Buzz because you can still buy him on Shop Disney and here at the Disney parks. So that is pretty neat. It's always nice to find a wall of buzz because it reminds me of Big Al's toy barn to see a bunch of buzz boxes together. Here we have this awesome vehicle kind of like pack. We get three cars in here that are themed like Woody, the alien car, and Buzz Lightyear, which is pretty neat. It's a nice little set. And then I found a wall of Rex. I really like the packaging for this. He's like in a crate that's breaking away. Really reminds me of the Toy Story Collection Rex that we got similar. And he's fully articulated, he talks, his mouth actually moves, uh, which is really nice. And he does interact as part of the True Talkers with Woody and Buzz and others. $32.99, you can't really beat that price for a movie scale Rex. And I love the Toy Story logo on the top of the crate. It is very, very cool. One of my favorite Disney store toys is Rex. And then here we have a cool jet pack, which is awesome. They always have these. These are exclusive to Disney parks. Basically, it's a mini jet pack with wings, and it's pretty fun. I'll show you how it works. We got some buzz glow wings. When you press in the back, the lever, it does this. They also had some slinky dog. Important to note that this is not movie scale. It doesn't have a real slinky. It just lights up. It's kind of a gimmicky, cool little slinky dog that lights up. Not too bad. And then I found this PVC Toy Story set. Little figures on display stands with Bo Peep, Woody, Buzz, Jesse, Bullseye. You also have Rex and Alien in there, which is pretty nice. Very basic packaging. This is also a Disney Parks exclusive. Very cool figurine set. I liked it. Then I found some Remix Aliens. I really like the ham one. He's really funny looking. And of course, Woody and Buzz, the classics. Really great set, and they did have a lot of these there. So those are pretty fun. I found this cool um, bubble wand. It's Buzz Lightyear in his rocket ship. And you fill it up with bubbles, and he will shoot out a lot of bubbles, which is fun. Here we have Slinky Dog. He is a park exclusive because he talks. So that's something that is kind of rare but only parks sell it and it's 15 plus phrases i don't want this one because i like the slinky dog that doesn't talk because the one andy had in the movie it's more true to his slinky dog which is not full of electronics it's just an old pull string toy 
but to each their own. It's a still a cool slinky dog. Highly recommend it if you want to pick it up. It is $32.99, not bad for a price. Matches the other Toy Story characters just fine. He's movie scale. Then we found some more figurine sets on the shelf. And down here I find the Pixar Toy Box. So this is a series of toys. Mini scale with Jesse and Slinky Dog. What's up Buzz Lightyear here with an accessory. Pretty neat. And below that, I was kind of shocked to find this. They have RC car. Now what's not accurate about this is that he's a little too small. He's not movie accurate scale, but he's really cool looking. He does look like RC from Toy Story. Although the remote is a wheel, it's not s supposed to be like that. It's still a cool RC and I, re I recommend if you can't afford like the Toy Story collection or Toy Story signature collection RC, then you want to pick up this RC because at least you have something in your collection that kind of functions like it did in the Toy Story movie. So that's pretty cool. And the price is not bad for 30 bucks. You really can't beat it. It's pretty cool. Then I found some woody backpacks with a shiny badge. Pretty neat. This is a Loungefly, I believe, brand. They make a bunch of these backpacks, but it was cool to see a Woody one. I found the Slinky Dog Mickey Ears, which is really nice. I kind of like the clouds on them, so it kind of reminds you of Andy's room. And it's not really a movie accurate at all, but it's a really fun Slinky Dog expression with his mouth open like that. And they even gave him a little slink tail, which is pretty cool. So those were pretty neat to find. Never seen those before found this Forky plush bag, which is pretty neat. You can put some stuff in there. That is pretty awesome. And then they found this one. I'm just happy to be here, which is great tank top and another shirt version of that, which is pretty cool. So they had some Forky merch, which is interesting. And then they had some more Slinky Dogs there in the corner. So a lot of Toy Story merch in this store. I was actually very surprised to find all this and it was really fun. They also have this shoulder plush for $19.99. It is a little woody mini plush that has a magnet and has Bonnie on the bottom of the boot, but it's cool that you can put the magnet in your sleeve of your shirt and then it sticks on and you can walk around with Woody on your shoulder basically, which is pretty neat. The back has an illusion of a pull string. I would definitely recommend cutting the tag, it's too long, but I do appreciate the detail on the boot. The cactus on there is pretty awesome. Very nice little mini plush and I think it's pretty fun for sure. Walking around I found these alien Mickey ears with the Pizza Planet logo and the alien ears and antenna. Very fun looking Mickey ears hat. I loved it. I also found these Buzz Lightyear pens. The detail were amazing on it. It has Lightyear on the chest, it has a Space Ranger logo and all the accurate colors and decals. Wow, it's better than Mattel's Lightyear toys and it's only a pen. <laughs> I really like the detail on the back as well. And the long legs are very funny looking, but they had to put the ink somewhere so you can write a bunch of things. So it is a cool Buzz Lightyear pen. Very neat and unique. And I also, walking around, found a potato head mug, ceramic, and it looks really cool. This is the same potato head we see outside of the Toy Story Mania ride in Disneyland. So that is a pretty neat mug to find. I also found this Buzz Lightyear mug that when you rotate it, it animates. You see jump action from Buzz landing as well and then saluting at the end there. Very nice mug. It is pretty cool. It's like a little animator's mug. Inside, it's a green color, Space Ranger green. Really like that. It's pretty, pretty heavy duty. $14.99, not a bad price for this mug. And they did have a lot of them here at the parks. So that is pretty neat. I wish they had a woody one. I want to see a woody one next. They did not have that. I also found this Reach for the Sky mug. Really cool. I like the style of it. It's a taller one. And it does have clouds that pop out. They're kind of like 3D on the side of the mug. So that's pretty neat and unique. And it's a pretty wide handle. It's very cool, sky blue. Also the same price as the Buzz mug, not bad. Pretty cool looking mug. Another Toy Story mug I found was this one, a ducky mug with a bunny spoon inside. It's all ceramic made, but it's pretty cool. And this one said it's hang time, which is pretty fun. So I really like it. I wish they had a bunny mug as well with the ducky spoon. That would be cool to see like the opposite. But they did have ducky with a little tail in the back and his feet popping out of his mouth. Pretty fun. It's really, really cool. And then at the Lego store, all they had for Toy Story was this Woody and Bo Peep set from Toy Story 4. Very cool. They didn't have Buzz Lightyear, um, but it's part of the Brickheads Legos. So that's pretty neat. And that's all they had for Toy Story except for this one Forky. 
they had on display. It wasn't for sale, but it was a concept Lego item, which was really cool. And there you have it, all the merch currently for Toy Story and Downtown Disney, World of Disney Store, Anaheim, California. Had fun doing that for you partners. On my way out, I had to film the RC Lego car with Woody and Buzz in the air. Always fun to see. And thank you so much for liking and commenting on those videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you want to continue to help me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, now you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.